Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for the new moon solar eclipse on the 14th. But keep in mind the timing is still fluid. We are just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here and get an overall energy. So what do we have for this Sagittarius new moon? What do we have? Triumph, victory, success, chariot. The chariot is mastering emotions, taking a journey, a uh, time of transformation, a time of uh, needing to master your emotions, okay? So this is self-discipline, self-control, hard work. Um, looks like we have somebody here that is on a mission and there is no stopping this person. Okay, we have somebody here that is on a mission. They are headed towards a destination, okay? And there's there's and there's no stopping. Okay? This person is uh on their way, okay? So yeah, this is victory. Headed towards victory. Now, this is a if you think about transformation, transformation is about change. So this is somebody who is determined to have success. The only way to do that is to take the wheel, you know, is to get in, get behind the, the, the driver's seat and take control. Somebody's going to be taking control. They're ready to move forward. Their mind is made up by the looks of things. Let's get a couple of these. I just finished all my third week of December readings. If you want to catch yours, I will I'll paste the playlist at the end. I still have private readings open. They will only be open for the week of December 28th through January 5th, and then I'm done until March. If you'd like to book, book now. So what do we have? Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. So there is a lesson to be learned. All right, maybe a period of frustration for the next couple of days, maybe the next couple of months, because there is a lesson to be learned. Weeping willow, family sorrow. Well, that's sad. So there's somebody is about to learn a lesson. We could have somebody that is moving very fast. The chariot moves very, very fast. Okay, so that's very fast forward movement. Somebody is on a mission. They could even be upset. It looks like, I mean, this person doesn't look like they're, they're smiling. So somebody may be doing something hastily. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So what do we have for this solar eclipse? Somebody is very determined. They have they have their mind made up. They're going after something. They're going after something. Um, there's no stopping them. Now the chariot can be a card of defensive as well. Somebody may be wanting to defend. Ooh, Ace of Swords reverse. So there's a, there's some sort of dishonesty here. Lack of truth. Lack of communication. Feeling powerless. Somebody's not communicating effectively. There could be no communication, blocked communication, uh, lack of awakening, not waking up. Um, my ring is falling off. <laughs> I'm just going to take it off. It's, they're all starting to fall off. Seven of Pentacles reversed. So uh, this is a dead end. It is a dead end. There's no growth here. This is dissatisfying. It's unrealistic. Somebody has invest, been investing in something that is unrealistic. Unable to see the truth. Lack of clarity. Confused. Unable to accept the truth. Um, hmm. But they are moving in a new direction. Definitely. Truth hurts. 
golden opportunity is coming. Six of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Wands. Somebody is really struggling. They're really, really struggling to face some challenges. They're facing, uh, they're needing to have the strength to face life's challenges. And they're, and they're struggling. They're struggling. There could be a loss here. There could be a loss of money. There could be a loss of stability. You know, when you get the Six of Pentacles reversed, there's, there's, a, there's unemployment or uh, no money. Uh, inequality, uh, strings attached, charity. There's, there's definitely somebody that is unbalanced, one-sided. There's one, some sort of lack of reciprocation here. Somebody, somebody could be getting fired, or they're not getting hired. You know, we have somebody here that it doesn't seek professional advice, that refuses to accept advice, that is abusing their power, and now they're feeling powerless, and they're facing some life challenges, and they're needing to find all the strength that they can to face this world. This is this is a tough, tough, tough world, right here. Somebody is in a really uh, tough position, and they're needing to have perseverance. I think they've reached a point where they're. They're giving up. They're giving up. And I feel like they're not they're no longer investing because they're not putting in a lot of effort. There's not a lot of work here. Somebody's not putting in enough effort. They're not working hard enough. There is a golden opportunity though, because of this ace of pentacles. There is an opportunity for abundance and prosperity and for good health and a new job, but somebody's not investing. They're probably not putting in enough effort to manifest that opportunity. Okay. Um Somebody's going down a new path, okay? They are going down a new path towards stability. Um, it's after they have reached a dead end where there's no more growth. It's where they've lost their power, okay? Because they've lost their power, they're probably being forced to go down a new path. But this nine of this nine of wands is is kind of resistant, okay? This is somebody that has a lot of doubt and fear in their in their head, okay? Um, and it feels like they've reached the point of giving up. The next card is the Ten of Wands. So we have somebody here who's very, very overwhelmed. You know, um, they're struggling. And I think they're struggling with money. Somebody is struggling with, with money. They're struggling with financial security. And there could be some theft here. This is lack of clarity. And it's not acting with integrity, not doing the right thing. So somebody may be doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Okay, just just being honest with you. We do have somebody here that is on a mission. They have no fear. They have no fear. This is somebody that is fearless. And I and I feel like um they may be in searching for money, you know? Um and I don't know who this is for, but they're looking for stability, right? They're looking for stability, but they may, may not be being logical. Okay? It feels like somebody may not be being logical. Anyway, the Six of Pentacles reversed is an abuse of power or abuse of generosity. Somebody may have been cut off because they abused, and that's a cut. Somebody may have been cut off because they abused their power, you know? Um, and now some, they've, somebody has given up investing in them, okay? And now they're facing some life challenges. Anyhow, this Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity, um saying goodbye, walking away, taking a journey. Somebody is taking a journey. They're going down a new path. They're looking for something more solid, more stable. Um, they're in a place where there's they're definitely emotionally content, discontent. They're not happy. They're disappointed. So they have to leave. They have to leave because they want something long term. They want something that they can hold on to. They want something uh, permanent, you know. This is this is a permanent change, by the way. Somebody is walking away from something that, you know, was an illusion. They've given deep, deep, deep thought to it. Somebody is taking an opportunity right now. They are taking an opportunity. They have been extremely stressed out, depressed, worried, anxious, um, regretful, um, 
over a situation. They've been it's almost like they've been haunted. They've been plagued by something that has happened. Now they have to leave it behind. They have to go. This is like a nightmare, right? They've been living some sort of nightmare in a nightmare, you know, and it's been it's been rough. It's, this person has been really really suffering. Now they're they're leaving. They're they're taking this opportunity to go to a better place. They are. They are. They're taking a journey. That that chariot card is a journey. They're finding their strength. They're finding the strength to take charge of a situation. Somebody is. I feel like they've come to the point where they cannot give anything else. They have nothing left to give. It's pretty interesting. Somebody's very dissatisfied. They, they don't have anything left to give. Emperor reverse. Could have something to do with a father? A father figure or somebody that is very masculine. Um, the emperor reverse is somebody that is corrupt, criminal perhaps. Could be somebody engaging in criminal behavior. Uh, this is somebody who may feel like they're above the law. This is somebody that is inexperienced, that likes to be in control. We could be dealing with a tyrant here. Somebody that is angry. And I feel like we do have somebody here that is angry. I do. I feel like they're angry because uh, somebody isn't giving them something anymore. They're not getting. They're not getting what they thought they were going to get because they have abused their power. This is somebody who is power hungry, power crazed. This power crazed individual is experiencing um, a loss of power. Okay, they're, they've lost their power, and I feel like this person um, is now taking an opportunity. They're taking an opportunity because of that that Ace of Pentacles right there. They're taking an or they want an opportunity. Somebody has walked away from them. Somebody has has given up on them. But there's still an opportunity for success. There is. There's an opportunity for victory. There's an opportunity for long term stability. If this person could. Let their guard down and stop. It's like they're trying to prove something. <sighs> Very interesting. Anyway, the emperor reversed is somebody that doesn't want to take responsibility. You know, that seriously. They, there's an opportunity here, but this person doesn't want to be held accountable. Doesn't want to take responsibility. Not interested in helping This is somebody who only looks out for their own good. It feels like this person is planning something. They're planning something. They're planning to leave. Because this is a plan. It is. They're planning to walk away from a stressful situation. But this person has made some poor decisions indefinitely. Emperor reversed. That's, uh, I feel like somebody is, is, uh, well, they've definitely lost their power. This is somebody that is entitled as well. Very, very entitled. Very controlling. Wants to have it all, but doesn't really want, get, go after it in the right manner. Has caused somebody a lot of stress. And has pushed somebody away. Now, now this person is feeling, it feels like they're not receiving. You know, that's the way karma goes. They're not receiving. They're not receiving the payout from the investment that they thought they were going to get. Even, and now they're facing challenges. Somebody is facing a lot of challenges. And it's because they were greedy. They're greedy. They're selfish. You know, they were greedy and selfish and egotistical. Very egotistical. Three of 
Pentacles. Now, Three of Pentacles is a card of working together, learning new skills, cooperation, willing. Somebody has to be willing to listen to advice, willing to, you know, do something they've never done, do things differently. Somebody's been unwilling to do so, and they need to be. They need to be willing to compromise and listen. Now, the Three of Pentacles is about work, put in effort. Be open to learning new things. Somebody needs to be open to learning new things. We have somebody here that needs to find their determination. They need to find their strength. They need to, they need to have respect for others. And it feels like they haven't in the past. This is somebody who is a know-it-all that has thought that they didn't have to respect others. And it feels like now they've, 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 they've lowered, you know, on the totem pole. Now they have to learn some new things. Now they have to start from the bottom. Somebody is going to receive some communication or an offer. Somebody could be receiving an offer. It could be a new job. It could be it could be a new job. It could be a new investment. It could be a new opportunity that leads that that requires moving because the chariot can be moving. Somebody is receiving a new opportunity that requires change. Okay? But there there's resistance to change here. Somebody is receiving a new opportunity for sure. They are. And this opportunity will require them to do something and take advice and follow orders. <laughs> you know? But it feels like following orders is a problem. We have somebody here that it feels like they don't really want to work. They don't really want the responsibility. So they're suffering. And they're facing challenges because they don't they don't want to compromise and they need to compromise. Which is interesting. So anyway. The Eight of Cups is saying goodbye. Walking away from a stressful situation. And I think that somebody is walking away from a stressful in, uh, situation. Because they don't want to accept responsibility anymore. They don't want to compromise. Justice, though that's a card of karma. Everything turning out as it should. So everything is going to turn out as it should. Somebody is is making a decision. They are making a final decision. This decision is being made because balance is needed. There could be some news of legalities that are coming. Somebody is definitely walking away from a stressful situation that has been causing them to lose sleep and causing them a lot of anxiety. They have made the decision to, to leave. This is the decision to leave, okay? It's finally, it's final. It's final. That justice card is final. Now this, that's the truth. Accepting the truth, seeing the truth. So somebody is going to be seeing the truth.
one of them is on the floor. Oh, it's the devil reverse. It's breaking free. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with anybody. Okay? Um, this is breaking free from an unhealthy situation. Somebody is in a deep, dark place. And it feels like it has gotten worse. Somebody, it feels like they have gotten worse. You know, they've gotten worse in a, in a greedy way. Okay, with the Six of Pentacles reversed right there. They've gotten worse maybe with addiction. You know, their addiction has gotten worse. worse. Um, this is a disaster. Something may have turned out, turned out to be a disaster. Somebody's been suffering and they've been needing to free themselves. And I feel like they are finally going to be breaking free. There's been a lot of anxiety and depression. It's been overwhelming with that Nine of Wands right there underneath. So yeah, I see I see freedom. I see freedom. Somebody is breaking themselves free. I feel like I feel like they are just uh they're walking away. They're walking away from a stressful, painful existence. They see a better opportunity. They're leaving behind somebody that probably didn't take care of them. I mean, I don't see any love in these cards. None. We got quite a few cards here. This is all very much uh, ego. Okay, it's ego, it's greed, it's lust, it's selfishness, it's entitlement, it's uh, corrupt, it's criminal behavior. I don't care. I want to be in control. I don't care. I don't. I you know. It's, that's what it is. It's about being in control. Somebody's need to control, be in control, has cost them. With the Six of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Pentacles reversed, has cost them respect. And so the best thing to do. Is leave. I mean, the Eight of Cups is leave. Leaving behind a stressful situation. The decision is made. Everything is going to turn out as it should. This is karma. It is. This is this is a karmic. Uh, basically, goodbye. Because this is this is this is good karma, and this is goodbye. But that Ace of Pentacles is a bigger, better opportunity that is waiting to be grabbed. It's waiting. So we have somebody here that is getting in the driver's seat. And they're on a mission. They are definitely on a mission. They are definitely frustrated as well. It's interesting because of this lesson to be learned. This per somebody is very frustrated with their loss of power. The best thing to do is leave it all behind because that's what the chariot does. Could be dealing with cancer, but we could be dealing with everybody. There probably there could be some family sorrow because somebody has decided to leave. This is decided to leave. So that is what's happening. Could have something to do with a father figure or a very masculine energy.
somebody is a, is learning a lesson because of their ego. Their ego has gotten in the way of them receiving prosperity. And lies. There's been a lot of lies here. Somebody has been lying a lot, you know, not telling the truth, not being honest. The karma sees right through everything, everything. So that's what's going on here. Somebody is losing. They are. This is this is a loss. It, it is. With the Six of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Pentacles reversed, it is a loss. Somebody is feeling like this isn't fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair because it's somebody didn't put in effort. So anyway. Good luck. <laughs>